Hello and welcome to week two of Junior Marine Biology Online. My name is Lawrence and I'll be your host, guiding you through each and every week. Now we wanted to start off with saying thank you so much to everyone who sent us pictures, messages or the activities that you did. In particular, Aidan from Scotland, you sent us a fantastic video telling us all about your coastline and you were asking us about ours here in the Maldives. Well Aidan, are you a mind reader? Because that's exactly what this week is all about, the coast. We also received some amazing science experiments. Pranav in India was investigating sea urchins. Frank and Josh in Scotland were seeing if bugs could walk on water. Agatha in France was observing her cat's behaviour. Lani in Wales was counting butterflies. Rue in Marfushi, here in the Maldives, was observing her goldfish's behaviour. And Anag was doing an experiment on smells and perfumes. We also received some amazing pictures and drawings. Let's have a look at some of them now. We absolutely loved seeing all of this work that you sent through to us, so please do continue to send us pictures and messages. Our email address is at the top and bottom of the webpage. Now, let's get started with this week's topic, coasts. In today's session, we'll be looking at coasts. We'll be exploring what a coast is, what sorts of things affect a coast, and then we'll be doing some research that we do right here in Lamu. But first, we want to know, what does a coast mean to you? Have you spent time at a coast before? What sort of activities have you done or other people done while you were there? Now it's time for our first activity. Write down three things that you can do at the coast and draw yourself doing one of them. Here's an example. When I go to the coast, I like to bring my camera and take photos of all the animals that I can find. <laughs> 